Hello, Edma. Hello, Alejandra. Carmen. Good evening. Emma. Welcome to the class. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. I had a headache. I have a headache. Oh, okay. I, 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 I'm raining. It's raining a lot too. Um, yes, okay. Yes, it has been a rainy day. And I'm sorry to hear that you are sick tonight. But don't worry, at nine o'clock you can go to bed and rest a lot. Okay, so Alejandra, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. <laughs> Me salí porque no podía hablar. Se arruinó el micrófono. Um, ok, eh, but you can do now. Sí. Hello, Alexandra. Welcome to the class. Cristina, welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Okay, let me ask you a question. How are you doing on the platform? ¿Cómo van en la plataforma? Have you already finished the section number five? I finished the platform. I just finished. Oh, you have already finished. That's excellent. Congratulations. Thanks. ¿Alguien ha quedado en la sección cuatro, sección tres todavía? Nobody. So sí, yeah. teacher, eh, después le voy, a, le voy a enviar un texto al privado, ¿puedo? Excelente, está bien, no se preocupe. Ok. Y si no hay ninguna otra pregunta sobre la plataforma, let's start with tonight class. Ah, solo mencionarles que el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Es ah, suelto por el día del maestro, pero nosotros vamos a tener clase normal, ¿de acuerdo? Siempre, siempre a las 8. No, no nos va a dar descanso. Mm, it's not my fault, right? Esas son las <ríe> indicaciones que nos dieron. Así que vamos a darle mañana con todo siempre, ¿verdad? A las 8. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Byron. Eh, igual ya el lunes va a descansar, ¿verdad? Porque aún no comienza el próximo modo, lo creería, ¿verdad? Ya solo no Lame sus derechos, mañana es a sueto. <risa> Así que aquí vamos a estar, ¿verdad? Espero que ustedes también. Espero verlos conectados a las 8 en punto. So, welcome, Byron, Kenia. Let's start with the class. We are going to start here on the platform exercise. You say that you don't have any questions. Yesterday we were studying simple past uh, questions with was and will. And also the next. Okay, here we go. Look at this exercise. Do you remember the answer? Yeah, it is taking some time. Here is it. We are going to complete using the correct form of the verb was, where, wasn't, or weren't. We're going to use was, where, wasn't, or weren't to complete the conversation. So in sentence number one, ¿cuál necesitábamos? My family and I was aware. Where? 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 You see, where is the right answer? My family and I were all born in South Korea. What about the next one? We wasn't or we weren't born in the US? We weren't. Weren't. Okay, weren't. let's see, weren't. And the next? Was. <coughs> what? I was, was born in China. I was born in the city of in Chong, and my brother was born there too. Mm -hmm. Then you say it's was, right? I was. 
I was. My parents wasn't, or oh, my parents weren't. 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 Okay, you say weren't is the right answer. They, they were. They, they were. were they in were. The, were. In the capital of Seoul. They were. In South Korea, my father was was a businessman and my mother was a teacher was a teacher okay now i can see that this is easy for you that's, that's great i need one volunteer to read this sentence please who wants to try any volunteer my family and i me teacher. Thank you. Okay. Todas o solo la primera? Uh, all of them, please. Todas. Okay. My family and I were all born in South Korea. We weren't born in the U.S. I was born in the city of Incheon. On my, and my brother was born there too. My parents weren't born in Incheon. They were born in the capital Seoul. In the uh, in South Korea my father was a, bus a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Okay excellent thank you. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate your participation. Now let's see let's see if you're right yes 25 of 25 points. Let's go with the second one. Yesterday we were studying this question. The first one is, where were you born? Where did you grow up? How was your first day at the school? Who was your first friend in school? What was he or she like? And why did you take this class? Now here you have to select the best answer to the question. What is the right answer for the first one? Where were you born? What is it? Hiroshima, Japan. In Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, you say Japan. is this option the right one? That's perfect. Where were you born? Uh, in Hiroshima, Japan. Yeah, the second one, where did you grow up? And here are the I options. I grew up. I'm I grew up in Tokyo. Tokyo. I, grew I grew up in Tokyo. I, I grew, I grew up in Tokyo. Thank you. Thank you. Three, how was your first was day your of first school? Day of school. And what's the right option to complete this? It was, for this. Was it, was it was a little scary. It was a little scary. It was a little scary. Scary. Who was your first friend in school? Who was your first friend in school? Who was who was your first friend? Do you remember? Uh, the option. Uh, her name was Yumiko. Her name oh, was okay. Yumiko. Her name was Yumiko. Excellent. What yeah. was he or did she like? Her name was Yumiko. She was really friendly. Oh, she was really friendly. And the last one, why did you take this class? I want to improve my English. I wanted to improve my English. Okay, I wanted to improve my English. That's great. Let's see if you're right. I'm going to click here and send. And yes, you're right. Excellent. You got 10. Your score is 25 points of 25 points. That's nice. Now, I need two volunteers to practice in this question. Who wants to try? I need two, two people. Who wants to help me? Okay, I'm going to choose Byron and Alexandra. Alexandra Milena, can you please read the question? And Byron, can you please read the answer? Just to practice. 
Okay, teacher. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Jumiko. What was he, she like? She was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I wanted to improve my English. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Alexandra. Thank you, Byron. So just pay a little close attention to this question. What was he or she like? This question is asking about personality. ¿Cómo era la personalidad de la persona? ¿Cómo era la personalidad de su mejor amigo en este caso? Who was your first friend in school? So her name was Yumiko. Acá, ¿cómo era la personalidad de Yumiko? ¿Cómo era ella? ¿Se acuerdan de la pregunta para physical description? ¿Se recuerdan cómo es la pregunta? para ¿Cómo era ella? Pero para saber cómo era físicamente. The question, what was he or she like? Tiene que ver con personalidad. ¿Cómo era su personalidad? Si quisiéramos saber cómo lucía ¿verdad? físicamente, sería what did she look like. Si usted quiere saber cómo era físicamente esa persona, dice what did she look like. Or he or she or he. La primera es para personalidad. Personality. And the second one is for physical appearance. Como Lucía físicamente. Physical appearance. Physical appearance. So don't forget about us. The first one, personality. What was he or she like? And what did she or he look like? Physical appearance. Do you have any question in this exercise? Questions? No, teacher. Okay. okay. Then let's start with today's topic. We are going to continue studying question in simple past. So the topic for today is this. WH word we did was and where in simple past. Let me show you the presentation for tonight. And let me know, please, if you can see WH word we did was in where. Do you remember the WH word? Can you list the WH word, please? Which are they? What? What? Where? When? When? How? Okay, excellent. Right. What? Where? When? Who? Which? Who? Uh, why? why? So this is the lesson objective, the lesson goal for tonight. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask an answer W equation with it was and where. So let's start. Take a look at the following picture. What did she do this morning? What is the meaning of that question? What did she do this morning? What is, is it a yes no question or an information question? Information. It's an information question. Yes, it's a start with a WH word. Now, what did she do this morning? Take a look at the picture. Can you give me some idea? She what? was asleep. Sleep. 
Okay. Descansando. Okay. Cool. Any other idea? That's nice. She was asleep. Sleeping. She was sleeping. Or she was resting. Nice. ¿Por qué creen que está cansada? What did she do this morning? Because she made exercise. Okay, good. She did exercise. She did exercise. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otra actividad física pudo haber hecho para quedar así de exhausta? Exhausta. I have here some ideas. Look at the first one. She did exercises for two hours. She did exercise for two hours. Eh, ¿Dos horas de ejercicio lo ponen así o, o aguanta más? Four hours. No, te en 15 minutos quedó así. Uh -huh. En five yes. minutes. She ran 10 kilometers. It's another idea. Ella corrió 10 kilometers. She did aerobics. Ella practicó o hizo aeróbicos. She played soccer. Ella jugó fútbol. That's why she is uh, tired now. So the question, what did she do this morning? She did exercise for two hours. She ran 10 kilometers. She did aerobics. She played soccer. Let's take a look at the following question. Uh, what did he do last night? What did he do last night? What's the meaning of that question? Information question. Okay, yes, it's an information question. What does it mean in Spanish? What did he do last night? I no. sleeping. Okay, so anoche, right? what did he do last night? And I have a picture for you to see. I did watch the videos. He wow. studied. Okay, he studied. Any other idea? He did the homework. He did homework. Excellent. Any other? So look at the answer. He studied the whole night. Estudió toda la noche. He read two books last night. Leyó dos libros. He did homework last night and he wrote a report. Él escribió un reporte. Very good. Thank you. Let's go over the next. What? What did they do last night? Look at this girl. They were in a party. So what did they do last night? They did when a party. Went they, they went to a party. They went to a party. Uh, any other thing? Any other idea? They went to a party. They went to birthday or celebration? Oh, they, went, they went to a celebration or... No. Okay, look at this. They went to a party last night. That was your first sentence. Thank you. They danced a lot. They ate delicious food. They drank wine and champagne. Mm -hmm. They were really happy. They enjoyed the night. And they toasted with their friends. So information question again, we say they went to a party last night, they danced a lot, they ate delicious food, they drank wine and champagne. They were really happy and they enjoyed the night. They toast it with their friends. Which of these verbs are regulars? ¿Cuáles de estos verbos son regulares en estas oraciones? Can you identify them? Regular verbs. Can you tell me which are they in these sentences? Dance. Dance is one. Enjoy. Enjoyed is another one. And? 
Toast. 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 Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And what is the meaning of that verb? Toast it. Any idea? Compartieron. Um, okay. The meaning is brindar. Okay. Ellos Toast. brindaron con sus amigos. Toast. Uh -huh. and no more questions, part. Do you like no. wine and champagne? Yes. Uh, so where I are you? Una pregunta. They Thank were. Ahí uh, es verbo. Oh, they were really happy. It's the verb to be in simple past. They were really happy. Estuvieron. Ellas estuvieron realmente felices. O oh, muy felices. They were really happy. It's a verb. It's the verb being in simple past. Es que estaba viendo en la, en la anterior. Eh, decía. He read two books. Y allí no hay pasado. Ah, en el verbo read es un verbo irregular y el pasado se escribe igual. Solo se pronuncia read. Read and read. Es irregular. Any other question? No, teacher. No, okay, that's it. And then let's go with the next. Tonight we're going to study this expression that we use in simple past. Expresiones de tiempo que utilizamos en el pasado simple. Let's see in the green square, in the green chart, we can read last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, last night. Right. We can use this expression, right? Last week, la semana pasada, mm -hmm. last month, el mes pasado, last weekend, Sunday. el fin de semana pasado, last Sunday. El domingo pasado, last night. Eh, utilizamos esto cuando nos preguntan, when? When did you go to the mall? Cuando fuiste al centro comercial? Y dice, I went to the mall last week. Fui al centro comercial la semana pasada. Mm -hmm. eh, when did you have a test? Cuando tuve el examen del meter? Y dice, ah, two weeks ago. O dice, um, last month el mes pasado. When did you eat pupusas? You say, last night. I ate pupusas last night. Comí pupusas anoche. anoche. Then we can use yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, and yesterday afternoon, yesterday night. Now, yesterday is in general a verb. Si usted quiere ser un poquito más específico, Cuando sucedió la actividad, then we can say yesterday morning, ayer en la mañana, yesterday evening, ayer en la noche, yesterday afternoon, ayer en la tarde, yesterday night, ayer en la noche, después de las ocho de la noche utilizamos night, yesterday night. Eh, si usted quiere decir antier, the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. Also, we can use expression using ago. 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. So a day when, before yesterday, what does it mean? Which one? The day before yesterday. Antier. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you for your question. And you say, when did you have dinner? When did you have dinner? You say, um, an hour ago. I said, mm -hmm. no. You say, una hora, I said, an hour, an hour ago. When did you go to the movies? You say, uh, a month ago. When did you go cine? I went to the movies a month ago. Fui al cine hace un mes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Dice, when did you get married? ¿Cuándo se casó? Dice, 
I got married five years ago, six years ago, and so on. So we use ago. And also we can use this, right? In 1980, in March, or on Monday. Puede decir el año en que un evento sucedió. I was born in 1980. Yo nací en 1980. Or you say, I was born in March. Yo nací en marzo. Eh, or, o puede decir el día, pero tenemos que decir on Monday. So I, have, I had a test on Monday. I had English classes on Tuesday. So we can use all of these expressions if we want to say the time para responder cuando sucedió algo, when uh, something happened. Don't forget about them. Last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, last night, yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night, the day before yesterday, 10 minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, in, in the year, in 1980, in this example, in March, on Monday. Do you have any question about this? No questions? No, for sure. No question, okay, that's great. Then let's see, where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? Donde fue ayer, se acuerda? Me pueden mencionar un lugar, say, I went to. I went to the bakery. Oh, um, can went you please? I went to work. I did went to work. Okay, you say, I went, I went to work. Oh. Then I have this idea, I went to the hospital. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. Next question, when did you get married? When did you get married? And you say, I got married. Last year, me casé el año pasado. I got married 10 years ago, hace 10 años. When did you get married? You say, I got married last month, el mes pasado. Nobody's married. Is everyone single in this class? Todos están solteros. That's great. In my case, yes. Yes, yes? ah, okay. Nice. Then I have this idea. I got married five years ago. Let's go to the next. When was your graduation? When was your graduation? Let's say your high school graduation. When was your high school graduation? In this case, you have to say it was in. You <laughs> pueden mencionar el año. It was in It was in 2019. Okay, it was in 29, 2009 or no. 2019? 2019. Ah, okay, excellent. Acaba de ser. That's perfect. It's recently. Any other answer? When was your graduation? And my graduation was two weeks ago. Look at this. Mi graduación fue hace dos semanas. In the case of Byron, puede decir, my graduation was three years ago. Hace tres años. También puede utilizar esa expresión. The last, when was the soccer match? ¿Cuándo fue el partido que casi gana la selecta contra Estados <laughs> Unidos? When was the soccer match? Ah, oh, eso fue hace como dos semanas. Dice usted, you can use two weeks ago, one so week ago. Or you can say last week, la semana pasada. And in this case, it was yesterday afternoon. Fue ayer por la tarde. Questions? 
Do you have an equation in this in this part of the class? And ocupar where oh, was where? Mm. Porque me, ahí dice, ¿verdad? Tiene las dos opciones. When was, where did. Significa lo mismo en pasado. Ah, pues okay. Se ocupan en diferentes situaciones. Ok, look at this. Si es una pregunta con el verbo to be en pasado, entonces no necesitamos did. El, con el mismo verbo to be podemos hacer las preguntas. Por ejemplo, las últimas dos. When was your graduation and when was the soccer match? Si no es el verbo to be, con los demás verbos, entonces necesitamos un auxiliar, que es did en este caso. El verbo principal sería get y go en las dos oraciones primeras. Y está el did para hacer el, el pasado. Where did you go yesterday? When did you get married? Entonces el did lo vamos a utilizar con lo, todos los verbos, excepto el verbo to be, que tiene sus propias formas en pasado, que es was and where. ¿Es it clear? Yes. Ok, ok. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Interesting question. I need to volunteer to practice in this in this small conversation. Who wants to try? I need two volunteers, please. Who wants to help me? No volunteers tonight. Me, uh, teacher. Okay, thank you. Byron and Byron in any anyone? Oh. Thank you, Alejandra. Byron, can you please read the question and Alejandra the answers? Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you get married? I got married five years ago. When was your graduation? My graduation was two weeks ago. When was the soccer match? It was yesterday uh, afternoon. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Alejandra and Byron. Excellent job in this part. Let's go to the next. When was the last time you? Cuando fue la última vez que usted? Let's see number one. Visited a friend. To answer this question, we are going to use these phrases. Para contestar esa pregunta, vamos a utilizar esta frase. This one. So you can take a screenshot or you can take a picture. I don't know. We are going to use this last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, last night, and the other one. So are you ready? Yes. Yes? Okay, then let's go. Yes. Let's go with the questions. Now the question. This part. Number one. When was the last time you visited a friend? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que visitó un amigo? I was visited uh, last weekend. Okay. Um, let me write your answer here. Give me a second. Then you say, I visited. I visited. I visited. Last weekend. I visited uh, my friend last weekend. Weekend. Okay, excellent. Any other answer? When was. Oh, sorry. Number one. When was the last time you visited a friend? Any other answer? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que visitaron a su amigo? ¿Ya no visitan a sus amigos? I Any visited other my friend last month. Ok, excellent. Last month. Perfect. Last weekend, last month. Any other? Any other answer? 
I'm really seeing my friend. Yeah. I visited my friend yesterday. I visited my friend last morning. Ok, excelente. Last morning. Y escuché otra que dijeron yesterday. Yes, teacher. I visited my friend last morning. Es last, no last. Last. It's Thank you so much. A T was missing there. I then you say yesterday. Yesterday. I visited my friend. And tomorrow. I visited I'm my friend. Mañana. Uh -huh. hmm. I visited my friend. You can say three days ago, for example. Three days ago. Hace tres días. Okay, excellent. Now, took a shower. When was the last time you took a shower? I took a shower three hours ago. Okay, excellent. So you say, I took a shower. You say, three hours ago. Perfect answer. Thank you, Byron. Any other answer? When was the last time you took a shower? I took a shower one hour ago. Okay, excellent. One hour ago. Perfect. When was the last time you took a shower? One week ago? Yesterday? Three I days took ago? I a shower last month. <laughs> Two months. Okay. <laughs> I took a shower last month, el mes pasado. Ya casi le toca. <laughs> el próximo año. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go to the next. La siguiente es cook a cake or a pizza. A pizza. <laughs> when was the last time you cook a cake or a pizza? I never cook a cake. <laughs> ah, okay. I never cook a cake. And pizza? I cook a cake and um, birthday, my birthday. I cook a pizza when? I cook a pizza last year, Her last month, last, last month. Last week. Okay, I cook a pizza last week. week. Very good answer. Any other answer? I cook, I cook a cake last weekend. Okay, I cook a cake last weekend. Very good answer. Thank you. I cook a cake last weekend. Perfect. Any other? The last one. Okay, si usted nunca lo ha hecho, usted dice, I have never, I have never cooked a pizza. Mm -hmm. or a cake. cake I have never cooked a pizza or a cake yo nunca he cocinado una pizza o un pastel mm -hmm. let's go to the next y la siguiente es when was the last time you drank coffee cuando fue la última vez que tomó café coffee drank coffee um, I drank ten coffee. Minutes, uh, ten minutes ago. Okay, excellent. Ten minutes ago. Excellent answer. Thank you. Any other answer? I drank coffee. I drank coffee 30 minutes ago. Okay, 30 minutes ago. Excellent. Any other answer? I drank I coffee. Drank coffee. Uh, yesterday morning. 
Very good. The last answer, I drank coffee. Just one of the phrases you say yesterday, yesterday afternoon, yeah. yesterday night. Well, um, the okay, so you say I drank coffee five hours ago. Let's go with the next question. Thank you for your answer. And the next question is, ate spaghetti. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? Cuando fue la última vez que comió spaghetti? I ate spaghetti uh, last mm -hmm. week, last week. I ate spaghetti last week. Week. Okay, excellent. And the last question, let's see if I have another one here. I ate spaghetti yesterday. Okay, excellent. I ate spaghetti yesterday. And the last question, when was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? I cleaned my bedroom yesterday. Excellent sentence. I cleaned my bedroom yesterday. Any other answer? I cleaned my bedroom last night. Excellent. Thank you. I cleaned my bedroom last night. Y así utilizamos la frase de last week, one hour ago, eh, yesterday. Last month, cuando sucedió una actividad. Do you have any question? Teacher, eh, ¿por qué en esas preguntas no se utiliza el WL question? No se utiliza, what's one? Las W question. Eh, esta es una WH question. Comienza con esta cláusula. When was? Que nos pide tiempo. ¿Cuándo fue? When was the last time? Y luego va la actividad. Entonces, si sí, es una information question, una WH question, comienza ah, con okay, when. Okay, okay. No me había percatado. <ríe> bueno, gracias. Ok. okay. Oh, look at this. When was the last time you watched a movie with your family? Eh, when was the last time you helped somebody? When was the last time you have a toothache? Uh, when was the last time you said, I love you? And when was the last time you cut your hair? When was the last time you went to dance? Any volunteer, you can choose one of these one and tell me. When to... ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que vio una película con su familia? When was the last time you watched you watched a movie with your family? Help somebody. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que ayudaron a alguien? ¿Se recuerdan? Hace uh. When was the last time you had a two age? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tuvieron un dolor de muelas? No quiero acordar. I don't remember. Ah, ok, excellent answer. I don't remember things. And when was the last time you said I love you? I said I love you one hour ago. Ah, ok, perfect. I said I love you one hour ago. When was the last time you cut your hair? I cut my hair, my hair last month. Okay, excellent answer. I cut my hair uh, one month ago, you say. 
or ah, last month. Mm -hmm. It's the same. Uh, when <laughs> was the last time you went to dance? I went to dance three hours ago. Three hours ago, okay. I went to dance a week ago. A week ago, perfect. Hace una semana. Okay, let's continue. Thank you for your help, for your answer in this part of the class. Now let's listen to this conversation. We are going to see in this conversation some example of WH word question like the first one. Where did you grow up? And also when did you come to Los Angeles? That is another example. What was your major is another example. WH word question. And why did you become a hairstylist? Is another example of this question. So let's listen to this conversation. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well... Uh, what is this conversation about? Do you have any idea? ¿De qué se trata esta conversación? What is it about? Any idea? So, Melissa, so, Chuck, where did you grow up? Así que, Cho, uh, ¿dónde creciste? I grew up in Texas. Where is Chuck from? ¿De dónde es Chuck? In the Texas. He is from Texas. Uh, I was born there too. Yo nací ahí también. And where did you come to Los Angeles? ¿Y cuándo te viniste a Los Angeles? In 1990, mm -hmm. I went to college here. Fui a la universidad aquí. Oh, what was your major? ¿Cuál fue tu carrera? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Fue un actor por cinco años después de la universidad. That's interesting. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? ¿Por qué te convertiste en un estilista? Because I need the money. And I love it. Porque necesito el dinero y me gusta. Lo amo. Look, what do you think? Dice, well, mm, ¿está conforme o no está conforme con el corte de cabello? Mm -hmm. Al final no, ¿verdad? ¿Ya les ha pasado? <laughs> Siempre. <laughs> ok, cool. I need to volunteer. Let's listen again. Pay attention to the pronunciation and then we are going to practice this. Here we go. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Who wants to try? I need two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Who wants? Any volunteer? Who say me? Just two, please. If not, I'm going to choose somebody. Then nobody won. Then I'm going to choose, let's see, Edma and Fatima. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, Edma, you are Melissa. And Fatima, you are Chuck. Can you hear me, Fatima, please? Yes, teacher. I can hear you. Oh, thank you so much. 
So Chuck, you are Chuck, Fatima, and Edma, you are Melissa. Okay. You can start, please. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1999, in I went to college here. Oh, when was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So, where did we come in hair <laughs> hair stylist? Hair stylist. So, where did we come a hair stylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? What do you think? Well. Mm, Oh, that was excellent. Thank you. Very good job in this part. Now, guys, can you help me to pronounce this? How do you pronounce this number? 1990. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. We are learning. In 1990. How do you pronounce this or word? Mayor. 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 What was your mayor? And let's see, how do you pronounce this adjective? That's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. And okay. And this other one, how, how do you pronounce this bird? Think. 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 What do you think? What do you think? The rest that was perfect. Thank you very much. The last tool and to practice in this conversation. Me, well, teacher. Okay, thank you, Cristina. And I need one more. Cristina, and one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna choose Karen Lopez. Me, Can you tell me? Oh, thank you, Kenya. Okay, Cesar Bocan. Thank you, Kenya. <laughs> Cristina and Kenya. Can you please start, Cristina, please? Okay. So, so, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And where did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, mm. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Kenya and Christina. Thank you. So Chuck, where did Okay, here is the explanation again, right? Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? And why did you become a hairstylist? And the answer, I grew up in Texas. I came to Los Angeles in 1990 because I needed the money. So the verbs here I grew, sorry, grow up, come and become. Esos son los verbos. Si es con el verbo to be, Vamos a utilizar el verbo to be para hacer las preguntas. How old were you in 1990? And also in the answer, we have the verb be in simple past. I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. So we have to tie a question with, con los demás verbos y con el verbo to be. Con todos los verbos, excepto el verbo to be, nosotros necesitamos utilizar did. Where did, when did, why did. Y si es con el verbo to be, no necesitamos el did, ¿verdad? Solo la forma del verbo to be en pasado. How old were you? What was your major and how was your college? Let's, let's listen this example. Wait, wait a second. Thank you. 
grew up. I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Now let's take a look at the following grammatical structure. We are going to need a W's word, did, subject, the verb in present, complement, and a question mark. Why did you eat my dinner? Why did you eat my dinner? Por qué te comiste mi cena? Because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Porque estaba, parecía deliciosa y yo estaba hambriento. Con el verbo to be, la estructura es la siguiente. W word, was for where, subject, complement, and the question mark. What was your favorite subject at high school? My favorite subject was French. La primera estructura con los demás verbos. La segunda estructura con el verbo to be. W for, was in or where, subject, complement, and question mark. Questions? Do you have any question? No questions? Where did you grow up? Okay, I have here some exercises. We're going to answer some of them. Uh, any volunteer to practice? Who wants? Any volunteer to practice in this part? And me, teacher. Me. Okay, let's start with Alejandra. Let's talk about your vacation, your last vacation. Where did you go on your last vacation? Okay. Where did you go on your last vacation? Okay, excellent. He's asking for a place. Where did you go on your last vacation? I went to the beach. Thank you so much. I went to the beach. So how did you go there? Cristina, how did you go there? ¿Cómo llegó ahí? ¿Cómo fue? I... But, I went to my car. I okay. went to drive my car. I went to my car. I went to my car. What did you do there? Mm. Then you say, I swam, I ate fish. What did you see? ¿Qué vio en ese lugar? What did you see? A lot I... of people. Uh -huh. tell me, tell me. I saw a lot of people, I saw the beach. <laughs> and... yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Let's go with the next. School. Did you have a test yesterday? This is a yes, no question. Look, I did. Did you have a test yesterday? Any volunteer to answer this? Did you have a test yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay, then you have just two options. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you get bad grades last week? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, what was your favorite school subject two years ago? My favorite subject was English and science. English and science, perfect. And internet, did you send any emails one hour ago? They are yes, no questions. So you have to say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you send any emails one hour ago? Nobody wants to answer this. Did you chat online yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. did you watch any videos on the internet yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay. No, segura no vio YouTube ayer. 
Mm, I'm sure. Ah, okay. 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 The first one is a general question. Did you read a book last month? Yes, I did. What was it about? Um, it was about sex. Okay. Did you like it? Yes, I like it. Okay. Yes, I did. It's a yes, no question. Good. Yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Yes, I like it. A sport. Did you go jogging in the morning? Salió a trotar esta mañana? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, I like. <laughs> okay, the next one. Did you go skiing last winter? No tenemos nieve, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. La siguiente sí la podemos responder. Did you swim last summer? Did you mm -hmm. swim last summer? ¿Fue a nadar el verano pasado? No, I didn't. And the last one for today. Did you train yesterday? No, I didn't. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. ¿Entrenó ayer? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, so do you have any question about how to make question using did and the verb be? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de cómo hacer preguntas? Valga la redundancia. Eh. ¿Tienen, dudas? ¿Tienen dudas de cómo hacer preguntas utilizando was and where and also did? No. No questions. Tomorrow we are going to have another practice. So if you have any questions, you can take notes and you can tell me tomorrow. Thank you so okay. much for being here with me. Uh, thank you for your help uh, during the class. Thank you for your participation and your attention. Uh, see you tomorrow. Don't forget, please, about the section number five and the final exam. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.